It is September 2nd, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but my GitHub Copilot free trial expired today. And I'm way too cheap to pay $10 a month for something that will save me thousands of dollars in hard manual labor. And surprisingly, over 90% of developers out there are just as it is me. Or are they? I've had access to it from the very beginning, and in some ways it's incredibly helpful, especially when it comes to writing common boilerplate code, or when doing unit testing. It understands the context of the code you've already written, or that it wrote for you, and can bang out a bunch of worthless unit tests to give you 100% code coverage to make your boss happy. That's pretty awesome, but there are some definite trade-offs here. For one, it's almost too good, and I feel like it makes me more stupider. Like, instead of using my normal problem-solving technique of copying the top answer from Stack Overflow, I just trust that code pilot knows what it's doing, but in a lot of cases, the code is actually not as good as it looks at first. Your JavaScript throws a seg fault, then you end up going back to reverse engineer the copilot code, when really you could have done this all by yourself, but you just got lazy and ended up wasting time. The other problem I have with copilot is that it sometimes just makes annoying suggestions. Yes, you can toggle it on and off, but that's also annoying. The biggest issue, though, is that every time you use copilot, it collects a little more data and gets a little bit better at what it does. AI just won its first art contest yesterday at the Colorado State fair and pissed off a bunch of humans. Before you know it, AI is going to start winning every hackathon. It might still take another year or two before it replaces us completely, but right now it feels a lot like we're paying Microsoft for the privilege of digging our own graves. I think the only way to fight back is to write terrible, nonsensical spaghetti code to ensure the copilot doesn't take over as captain of this flight. Now, if my copilot trial expiring weren't bad enough, Heroku also just recently announced that they're getting rid of their free tier. It used to be one of the easiest places to get a server, Postgres database, and Redis cache, in a single location all for free. But starting on November 28th, 2022, all those free services are going away. Now, if you don't use Heroku, you may not think that's a big deal, but this could be the first domino to fall, motivating other platforms to also get rid of their free tiers. As a cheap-ass developer with hundreds of unfinished side projects, I truly hope that's not the case. But in this current economy, tech stocks are in free fall. Heroku is owned by Salesforce, which has declined 50% from its peak earlier this year. Free tiers are only there to drive growth, and if the user base isn't growing, then free tiers serve no other purpose than to lose money. They claim it's to manage fraud and abuse, and that may be true to some extent, but in my opinion this looks a lot more like a financial decision. Luckily, there are many other platforms that still have a free tier. You can get a free relational database from PlanetScale, free hosting and edge functions from Vercel or Cloudflare, or all kinds of free stuff from Firebase, and I'd be very surprised if they ever eliminated their free tier. In fact, I'm so confident that I'll make the John McAfee promise right now to eat my own dick on national television if Firebase ever gets rid of its free tier. I'd rather be suicided in a Spanish prison than see that happen. But it's not all bad news this week. We did get a brand new JavaScript framework. This one's called Enhance, and it has a weirdly awesome logo, but actually provides a really awesome developer experience when it comes to working with web components. What's interesting is that it's using patterns very similar to what I'm using to build the next version of the Fireship Pro website. It's very cool to see another project thinking about native web components in the context of a multi-page application. This just in, we have some breaking news. I encountered a regex problem, then exactly 12 seconds later, I went out and purchased GitHub Copilot. It's Brittany, bitch. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.